Welcome to Astral's short guide to macroing and WoW. Now today we're going to learn a few basic things about macroing and WoW to set you off on the right foot. First thing of course is what a macro is and what it does in the game. Second, how to make a macro and use it. And thirdly, our advanced techniques to make adventuring in WoW that much easier. Macros are basically just chat commands that you can use pretty much anywhere in the game. First off, we're going to do some really simple ones you probably already use, like slash wave, slash dance, um, slash cry. These are all very simple emotes that you use to communicate or talk to someone in the game. Now all that a macro does is it takes all those commands you can already do in game and puts them at a push of a button. Now making a macro is a rather simple process. Let's first take a look at the macroing interface to see just what it looks like in game. This is the macroing window from the main menu. As you can already see, I have a few macros of my own, both general macros that can be used on any of my characters and astral specific macros which can be used specifically on my mage. I use things like my polymorph macro, my counterspell macro in there. And all of this is like my recruitment macro for my guild that I use to spam chat. Now I just hit the new button on the macro window and I'm going to create one to do something that I just did. I'm going to name it emote since that's pretty much what we're doing. You type in the name, you find any one of the icons. It basically has every single icon in the game right there for you to choose from. I like the question mark because I have no idea what I'm doing there. And then you just type in exactly what you want to be put into the main frame in that little box there. As you can see, there is a character limit of only 255 characters, but I don't think we're going to run into that issue today. And you just take that macro that you wanted and plop it onto your bar. Now all you have to do is click the button just like any other spell, and it will wave, dance, and cry as quickly as you can click the buttons. Now isn't that easier than having to type it out like 30 times? Of course, there are far more useful things that macros can do as well. Let's say, for instance, you want to kill, say, a bunch of stone tusk boars. Now you can do this the old-fashioned way, clicking every single one and clicking your spell, or you can make a macro to make it just that much easier for you. Let's go into the macroing window here and change some things up. Now with the same macro, I can achieve a different purpose just by changing its name and what it does. First off, let's change it from emote to something a little bit more like its purpose, like say, I like pork since we're killing pigs. Now we're going to take what's inside the macro and change it to commands that will target the pigs and cast ice lance at them. First off, of course, is target and the name of the target, which would be stonefield boars. And then we go on to the next command that will be executed by the macro, which is slash cast Icelands. Now let's put this macro to good use. Now I'm just spamming the same button I did before, but now it's automatically targeting the, the boars and casting my Icelands without me having to move my cursor off of the Icelands button. Isn't that useful? Now, of course, there are limits as to what macros can do. As you can already see, I'm targeting a lot of dead boars because slash target will always target the closest mob of the name that I typed in. So if that target is dead, then it targets a dead boar. Now, macros can be used for more than just chat and emotes. They can also be used for a variety of different things. Now, I don't quite have enough time to list every single one of the chat and macro commands there are in the game, but there are a number of excellent resources on the forums that list every single macro command, what it does, and how it is used, and I would highly recommend checking that out if you're interested in doing some more advanced macros. For now, I'm going to give you just a little picture of what exactly macros can and cannot do. Now what macros can do is cast a single spell that does activate the global cooldown or multiple spells that do not, pick up targets off of players, focuses, or raid targets, spam text in any channel that you have access to, and pretty much do any of those combinations thereof. Now this is by no means a comprehensive list of everything you can do, but it gives you some good ideas of what macros are useful for. Now, as for what macros cannot do, 
Macros cannot execute commands that require there to be a pause in the middle, such as chain casting a spell. Nor can they intelligently choose targets, such as the person with the lowest health or a cursed person. Finally, of course, a macro cannot execute a command that you would normally not be able to do on your own. Again, this is not a comprehensive list, but it's useful to know when you're thinking of designing your own macros. Now I realize I haven't given you too many specific examples of macros, but to keep it short, I think I'm going to have to leave it at that. If you're looking for more advice on class-specific macros, rating macros, or any such things, I would highly suggest, again, looking at the macro and user interface forums on the World of Warcraft site, or any of the third-party or guild sites that may have more specific information on what they'd like. For now, I hope I've explained the basics of macros to you and what they do, and inspired you at least to go out and look at some possible uses for them, let alone use them in the game yourself. Thank you for watching, and have fun designing your own interface.